Non-stop news starts with new video. Our first look inside the Aurora Century Theater. The lobby and all the theaters completely remodeled since last summer's shooting. Many of those in the theater that night, victims and first responders, invited tonight to be a part of a remembrance and reopening event, which starts in an hour. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorne is live outside the theater. And Russell, you just talked to a shooting survivor who will be going back into that theater tonight. Right, and Jansen Young, for one, is looking forward to tonight's event. The doors for the theater just reopened moments ago. Tonight's event will be open to invited guests only, in particular those first responders from that fateful night back in July, and of course, the victims and their families. I think it's good that the movie theater is opening, and I think it'll be good for the community to, like, it'll be a healing process for all of us, I hope. Walking arm in arm with her sister, Laura, Jansen Young says she's ready for the next chapter. So I'm definitely going to be at the movie theater tonight. I'm going to be there to memorialize John and to face my fears. If I'm lucky, I'll find some peace out of it. Jansen survived the shooting. Her boyfriend, Jonathan, did not. John, that night, he knew immediately that what was going on. He just recognized the sound of a gunshot. I, would, I did not at all. And so he pushed me down, and he boxed me in under the seats and laid against my left side, told me that there was a man in the movie theater shooting people, and uh, he got shot. And so he saved my life, ultimately. Jansen was even honored at an elementary school earlier today. A range of emotions for the victims. They gave me warm and fuzzy jars is what they made. And it was, they each did something kind and then put like a little fuzzy ball in this jar. And each of their act of, acts of kindness had the victims in mind. I'm not letting the bad guy win. Jansen says she understands and respects those who say this theater should have been closed down and a permanent memorial built in its place. But she says the reopening tonight represents a rebirth to her, and this is what she prefers. Live in Aurora, Russell Haythorn, 7 News. And we want to give you another look inside the remodeled theater, the remodeled two-story lobby reflecting the changes we've seen on the outside. The pinks and purples there the night of the shooting, gone, replaced with gold and green. A complete change from the way it looked the July night, 12 people were killed. A live view of the theater right now from Air Tracker 7. Tomorrow, the Aurora Century Theater will open to the public with free movies for the weekend. It will then shut down for cleaning for a few days before opening up full time for paying customers next week.